Hey love bugs, it's me, 007 Georgia Peach, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Everything in this haul is $125. Um, I'm going to show you the things I went in there for, and then I'm going to show you all the things that I found. So I also wanted to review, because I have it in front of me, this lip gloss. This lip gloss is so good. I feel bad because I don't I no longer see it. it it's the um flavored lip oil, and it's supposed to be the um fruit loops. This is so good. Now, I only got one because a lot of times I don't care for the Dofa when it looks like this sometimes, but I I, I apologize. <laughs> this is good. This is really nice. It's not like a thick, sticky. It just, it's just really good. Maybe because it's a considered a lip oil, so it gives off a really nice oil, shiny finish. So, yeah. Just wanted to highlight that. I only got one. If I see them, get more. Okay, so I went in there for Reynolds Wrap. And that's a 15 square foot. I needed a bottle and I got it. Usually when I see the bottles lately, I've just been saying the bottom and not the, the top. These were all together for $1.25. Uh, got some hot sauce. And I got, and that's the Louisiana Supreme. I got the old style raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is unpasteurized, unfiltered, and it's a 16 fluid ounce. I got the vine ripe ketchup uh, made in the USA. Yeah, this is a eight ounce. Okay, now we're gonna go into food. Really happy to see the fiber one um, bars. So you get nine grams of fiber. It's the Chewy Bars. It's the oats and chocolate strawberry. Um, you probably get about like five bars. It doesn't expire because I know a lot of people are concerned about, well, why, does, why is Dollar Tree carrying it? It doesn't expire to March 30th, 2025. And you get a full size bar. So that's pretty good. So I got two boxes. Um, I remember on the last haul I told you I mistakenly got two mesquite barbecues and I was supposed to get a lay stack cheddar. So I finally got it. And I got the 125 seven up. This was like, well, they had the seven up and the root, root beer, A and W root beer in full size is 125. The Shirley Temple and the um What's the regular cream? The ginger ale and the, what's the pink reddish ginger ale? Cranberry, I believe. That's all gone. So they just had the 7-Up, so I got that. Got this one. And went into the sock aisle, and I was so happy because I really wanted to find these. And it's crazy how I wanted to find these, and they were all finally together. And they were one each. Well, yeah, one each and maybe two on the ones I'm gonna show you. So there it was only one here of the Bambi in. This is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. These would be so cute with some boots to highlight that. Like, that is so cute. And it is the Disney brand. Let me make sure the trademark. I don't yeah, Disney. So and they got that 125 so you can put a sticker to hide it because you can't peel it off. And I was really happy to see this one, Mufasa. Love this. It's so bright and colorful. It's so pretty and detailed. And I got one of these, which is mini. That's cute. These would be like really cute gifts. Like they have the mini, the mini strainer, a sink strainer, and the Mickey and Minnie um, ice cubes. I haven't seen the ice cubes yet in my Dollar Tree, but I did see the Mickey and Minnie uh, strainer. And now they have the socks. And I believe they had some Mickey, Mickey and Minnie uh, socks in other array than this. But this feels so good and soft. Then they had the Barbie socks. I was so happy because it's pink. And let's see. Yeah, Barbie Mattel. So it is trademarked. Um, so it does have the Mattel, but Dollar Tree, but they won 25. I guess to let you know that, yes, it's a name brand, but you can get it for $1.25. So I got two. 
my eyes are watering. Okay, so we're gonna go into the sprays. I got two sprays. This one is called Bottle of Joy. It says exclusive natural scent burst technology, sparkling leche and pine, made with essential oils and uncycled, up, I'm sorry, upcycled um, ingredients. Concentrated room mist, four ounce. And these give, it's giving me Bath and Body Works. <laughs> um, the packaging. It's a four ounce. And this is the only one they had. I know it's more out there, but, oh, that mist is nice. Oh, that smells pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Really nice. So I'm glad I got this. And this, I like this. Um, the Wizard um, Double Action, like the two-in-one. This one is new. This one is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. It's an odor eliminator, fights tough odors, air freshener, and it claims to eliminate airborne and tough odors on most surfaces, fabric, a polistry and trash cans. So I wonder, is it kind of like Febreze? Like, because I don't know, it's giving me, you can spray it on your um, furniture. I don't spray, you know, my, I don't have that type of furniture that, uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. It well, it says hold up, right, press down, spray towards the center of the room. So. Um, I sprayed this in the store because I wanted to make sure the sprayer was okay. Don't want to spray it towards my flowers. That's, I, I love this because of the spray. Okay, where are you? Where did you go? I sprayed it. smelled you in the store. Oh, that's so pretty. But I have to be honest. I don't get eucalyptus or spearmint. It's just a really nice scent. <laughs> It's really nice and comforting, but it is not experimenting eucalyptus. So, but it's really pretty. It is really pretty. So, just letting you know. And I love the color. It's really pretty. Oh, um, was happy to see these. Haven't seen these in a while. Um, we usually get the full big size of pure silk, but they have the five ounce. Um, yeah. So I got it in raspberry mist. More, it says moisturize with aloe, so so I got that in raspberry, and it's a five ounce. I got it in ultra sensitive, and I got it in coconut and oat flour. So really happy to see those, yeah. Cause I think uh, in Walmart they're high, and I'm thinking like, well, mm, what made them go high? Maybe they're popular. Um, okay, so th this brand is new to me. Um, these two I'm going to show you. Is, uh, I hope I'm saying this correctly. This is Italia Deluxe. I hope I'm saying that right. But this is a lip cream. It says matte to last, smooth to dude, or suede, or something like that. So I got it in this purple color that doesn't have a name, and I got it in this pink color that doesn't have a name. And I thought we'll be fitting in with matte because I've always stayed away from matte because a lot of the formulation is just too dry. Um, sometimes when I used to put it on my lips, it just shows like the imperfections um, in it. It just seemed just... So I'm thinking I'm, a lot of makeup companies have formulated a little different so it can be comfortable to the lips, moisturizing to the lips, even though it's matte. So to accompany those two and try those out, I got the Clean Colors Lip Primer with jojoba oil. Now they have, um, I just got this one. This one is in the black packaging. It's called Clean Color Sugar Kiss Lip Primer. So it's the primer before the matte lipstick you apply. But this is by Clean Color. It says Sugar Kiss Lips Primer Base makes it possible to wear a lipstick that is matte and be comfortable it keeps your lip color in place all day. So go ahead and eat, drink, and kiss without worrying about smudging and feathering. It says apply the Sugar Kiss, kiss Lip Primer Base to bare lips and blend out evenly. Allow it to dry before applying lip color within a few minutes. It will leave your lips ready for a fresh swipe of lipstick. 
So it says, it claims it's colorless, non-oily base for matte lip colors. Helps lip color last longer, no bulge. I'm sorry, no budge, no smudge, no feathering. Okay, so that's gonna be interesting because this is new. <laughs> and that is the end of my haul. Thank you for tuning in. Hit like, talk to me in the comments. I'll talk back. Love you. Bye.